Hey guys, I wanted to drop a bit quick message here before my Uber comes. Uh, I want to share a video on how to set boundaries at work. So um, yeah, so breakdown today, I was at work and I was at the job site and there was one of the general contractors, the laborers, we were all joking around and I got distracted. You know, we were all joking around, hanging around. He's like, hey, no texting, no texting. And he started touching my phone. And I didn't like that. And I was like, yo, hold on, buddy, in a very strong voice. And I was thinking back, I'm like, yo, fuck, I don't like when people touch my shit. Like, I don't like when people touch my phone or put my their fingers on their phone. It's not theirs. And uh, I just didn't like how that played out. So all day, it was bothering me. It was just like kind of pissing me off and annoyed that I didn't say anything. And um, so what I did instead was... Um, um, hold on, let me just check if this is my Uber. Uh, yeah, so what I did instead is I... Uh, actually, give me a sec, guys, one sec. Got to jump in here. Hey, bro. Hi. Hey, Kevin? Uh, yeah, Kevin, yeah. I have this. I, I can put it sideways. It's not dirty. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's a tamper, and I have a crowbar. Yeah. And then everything else is just a bag. Yeah, I think I should put this. Yeah, that's a good tamper. Sorry, I'm just doing a recording a video for YouTube and shit. So, <laughs> okay. you're in it, quick. <laughs> Feel free to All right, man. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, so what I was saying, uh, you know, how to set a boundary at work, I was thinking about it all day and um, I was bothered by it. I was like, I, was, I didn't, I was like thinking, hey, why did I, uh, you know, let this guy do this? So I mulled over it today and during break, I'm like, I got to take action. And uh, whenever I feel like there's something I need to do or some a solution I need to handle in my life, I sit down, I take a break, and I think about what needs to be done. And I realize I gotta go face this guy, speak up, and set a boundary. So I did, I, um, uh, I went up to him, I found him, and I'm like, hey man, let me talk to you for a minute. So I pulled him aside, and he was in, he was having like lunch or something, I pulled him aside, I'm like, look, you did this, I don't want you doing that ever again, I don't want you touching my stuff and I just gave him a clear thing that I want I gave him a behavior that he did and I just told him what I want differently and um, he tried to interrupt me and I'm like dude no let me finish and uh, it was very quick no explanation no storytelling no justifying just tell him exactly what I want and uh, I had to address this to him and uh, you know he was okay with it, and uh, yeah, that's what I want to share. I think it's really important to share a boundary and and to address it right away. You know, once it happens right away, to address it, I want to encourage you to do it. The more direct you are, the more fast you are to do it, the more quickly you address it, you're you're going to be less bothered all day. And um, especially dealing with construction workers, sometimes you need to be blunt and direct and that'll be the best way to have your solution handled it's scary but it takes courage and uh it'll make you more stronger and more confident in yourself so that's all i wanted to share with you guys here's that quick tip on setting boundaries at work hope you guys enjoyed it and uh kevin with fortress and kingdom construction cheers thanks